She was an advertising executive during the time that Mad Men dominated Madison Avenue. Despite her gender, she started her own advertising agency, helped shape American culture, and was one of the highest paid women executives in the United States by 1976. Mary Wells Lawrence was born in 1928 in Youngstown, Ohio. She headed east to New York at 17 to study acting and then attended the Carnegie Institute of Technology in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. By the age of 21, she married her first husband, Burt Wells. The couple moved back to Youngstown, Ohio. There, she worked for a short time as a copywriter for McKivley's department store before moving back to New York. In New York, she held other advertising leadership roles until starting at Doyle Dane Burnback, DDB. In the early 1960s, everyone on Madison Avenue knew who Bill Burnback was. He was known for thinking outside the box, like with the Avis's number two campaign. Wells says she owes some of her success to Bill Burnback for making a serious woman out of her. She worked for him at DDB as a copywriter and quickly made a name for herself with the General Mills account. After leaving DDB, Wells went on to work at Jack Tinker and Partners. Her career took flight after landing the Braniff International Airways account. Wells' advertising campaign was the end of the plane plane. The goal was to create the most beautiful international airline in the world by dressing stewardesses in bright, creative costumes, painting the planes, and adding seven new color schemes to the inside. Their claim was that they wouldn't get customers anywhere faster, but it would seem that way. In one year, this campaign grew the company's net profit by 58.3%, and revenue passenger mile growth grew from 14% to 32%. Wells then left DDB and started her own advertising agency, Wells Rich Green, WRG, in 1966. The agency was a success and worked with companies like American Motors, IBM, and Procter & Gamble. One of their most notable campaigns was for the New York State Department for Economic Development to promote tourism in New York. There, WRG created the I Heart New York campaign that included a jingle, television commercial, and the I Love New York slogan. Milton Glaser helped out the company by creating this iconic logo. The slogan and logo now generate more than $30 million a year and are recognized by the majority of Americans. Mary Wells Lawrence was more than just an advertising executive. She was a powerful woman leader when women didn't hold many leadership roles in companies. Wells created iconic campaigns that would shape and influence American culture for many generations to follow.